Biden, Carla, and I love you, sister. I am your host for this evening. I want to shout out real quick, BSC, Carla, whom I love. I call it Carla because, you know, her name's Carla. I don't have a car, but I have love. And she has love. And Tia. BSC, Black Student Center. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm up here, but it's all great because it's about love, right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yes. Oh. Thank you. I wanted to write a poem that was deep and dramatic. Words jumping off the page, screaming something in panic. Something soul stirring and something a bit mind wrenching. Something you would read and it would garner your attention. A little ditty that flashed repeatedly through your mind. Something that was witty and had big words and rhymes. But I couldn't do that, so this is what I had to do. I tried to remember the format for a haiku. Is it the one with the scheme of A B, A B, A B? Either way, it doesn't matter because this is all I got. It's just a simple note of thank you and forget me not. Thank you for listening and showing any amount of care. For being by my side when I needed someone there. For being an example of beauty and grace. For showing that there are great specimens within the human race. Thank you for being patient and dealing with my shit. I know sometimes you wanted to ask, what's up with this bitch? I thank you. I thank you for you. I thank you for time. I thank you for inspiring so many words to rhyme. Mind moving questions and the detailed answers. Being the one that I have come so close to care for. I'm sorry for lost clues and the brash words, but I thank you for forgiveness, which to me is absurd. Gentle strokes to the head to acknowledge that I'm seen, kind words and warm stares that are fitting a queen, I thank you. For being above and beyond, I thank you. For showing me things that my heart now holds on, I thank you. Illuminating all of my rights within my wrongs, wow, God dare me. Taking the time to read this even though it took me so long, I thank you. When I text, you choose to call or respond, thank you. Understanding even though I'm here, I'm still so far gone, thank you. For me now realizing this list can go on and on, I thank you. I'm indebted and my only means of pay is thank you. Thank you, thank you for allowing me to be in your presence a million times I say thank you. I hear a lot of talk about, but it's 
another one, I'm a rapper. Pretend that my face is saw a handshake and all the silence. So I stay to myself, it's not many a like mine. I'm searching for intelligence, but I really see a sign. I hate this nation of followers of unqualified leaders. A bunch of hip-hop clones, no jiggers and kick the leapers. We emulate their lifestyle, mind control through the speakers, behaving like blind mice, unaware of where they lead us. No time to fantasize and believe this illusion of freedom. How are we supposed to be free if we don't even know what free is? All you believe you're free, but what part of your life is free? So I think I struck the nerve because what niggas is getting me. Well, what do you believe in? And why do you believe it? I've never developed school because I question what they were teaching and claim America is the land of free, home, and great. That's bullshit. It's the land of the weak, the home, and the slave. I believe you're meant to be weak, so cruel, you slaves. Message. I hope I'm giving out a message. Intellectual habit, I put my thoughts on display. I'm sick. Doctor, help me, please. I'm in dire need of medicine, but I don't got insurance, so the best you can do is let me in. Money. It is the root of all evil. It is worship as a man's forgiveness. We're all equal. I mean, we all have the power to make us forget for all people. There will always be a divide between the haves and have nots. So long as the ones who have treat the rest like mascots. So I prefer to respect my mind over my grind. My grind's only what I do. So my mind represents who I am. Yeah, if you got your opinion, if you're entitled to that. Make sure you keep it to yourself until somebody asks. You see, money didn't make me and it only helped me raise me. Yeah, my soul resides on earth and it's not yours for the take. You can inspire my flesh. And spill my blood and kill me with only guarantee money. It's called Don't Believe the Hype. I found myself at 23, wondering what the fuck is the rush to become so out of touch with life. In the pursuit of happiness, we get wrapped up in the madness. Smothered by the hustle, we wonder why we're so consumed with sadness. Indulgence is a bad habit. Seeing past what we need, because if we want it, we gotta have it. Everybody plays the rabbit with no concept of patience. So y'all can let me know when you find comfort in these rap races. Because I refuse to try and keep up with a pace that's baseless. Lives wasted in a reckless haste to change class. We going nowhere fast, so if you got a problem with my stride, you can kiss my ass. Fuck wow. you and your mad dash. Shit ain't all of what it seems. No, I don't gotta keep it moving. I am assuming you're American dream. <laughs> the NC academics he don't even match my means. Shit wasn't ripped for me, so I pursued the dreams of a king. Yeah, beliefs against the norm, I will no longer conceal. The whole of being made to feel like my desires ain't real. Like if I ain't battling the climate, then I ain't really trying it. They call me lazy because I want to lay back and enjoy my day. See, suddenly my content and happiness is this irrational sense of doom trying to follow the path through this backwardness. Please, can the bitch breathe? And the stuff of the ecstasy of the stuff of the ecstasy of the stuff of the and enjoy the ecstasy of the stuff of the best of me. But it's like if I speak with a passion and find satisfaction in their reaction, I got motherfuckers questioning me like something had to happen because I ain't miserable and stress I ain't really into it. All over around carefree and despite me. But I, but I decided this burden on my back won't suppress the joy in me. So go ahead and believe when they hail the land of the free. Most inhabitants are still bound by their own misery and failing to look, and failing to live up to expectations no one could ever reach. Yeah, it all sounds good in theory, but I won't let their visions appear me. I let my own expectations get me and now I'm seeing clearly. My outlooks on life, I'll look this strife. So with a face of criticism, sit. This is great, y'all. How you feeling right now? Good? Shed, suffering from lonely nights on our bed, constantly reminding me of what used to be and now can never be again. Could this be the end? Dear God, you were a godsend. I don't want to love you. I don't want to love you because of the sweet voice that would soothe my sorrows, reminding me of the pleasant tomorrows that were kept in mind, no borrows. Thinking about the days that you were there, loving the moments that you take care, missing the kisses that you would share, and now our love heading to God knows where. I don't want to love you. 
I don't want to love you because of the sensual side that bought our bodies close, making love passionately when we were angry the most, feeling for you more each moment that you touched my face, and now it's nothing but a torment that invades my space. I don't want to love you, but because of you, I learned that it's okay to cry even for a guy who sheds from his left eye. I learned that I can't live through the tomorrows today as Neo borrows my yesterday and reminds me that I will be feeling better today. I learned that I should never settle for less, for I must confess that the beat in your chest kept our love making at its best. So no, I don't want to love you, but I'm already in love with you. And I must spend the rest of my life with you, for I cannot live without you. Thank you. Temptation forcing my hand to hand in public situations. My eyes fall upon different sexual orientations. Skateboarders to iPhone holders, sometimes one and the same. Harvard Square, the matter of pain, I had range. You'll catch me in some polo kicks, blue jeans, a button down, a tie that match and fit it, give or take something different. My lifestyle far from PG, my vocal style explicit. Real motion picture shit. Most can't get with it, so I'm left out of many circles, and that's cool. I stay out of the quickest situations unless I'm the remote control, and the TV is what I'm kicking with. I pause. Raise the children. They're listening to rappers dressing the part, growing up ill equipped. The kids in skinny jeans, not themselves conform to a poser. Funny how fakeness is so accepted. Pause. So many accepting of other people's image, leaving themselves rejected. Take that. Wardrobe style play. Rewind, I wait for the rebirth of the high top fade. Fast forward, lace fronts. I guess lazy is still in. <laughs> guess it's easy to speak of independent thinking. Hard to be an independent, in, independent thinker. That's just me thinking. Thought is missing. I pause. Be spoken. Most assume it to be a cool phase. Poetic devotion shows it's a lifestyle and cool fades. Show commitment to something other than self. Engage my thinking, allowing my thinking to be questioned and answered. I salute those that speak in a whisper but full of substance. Laugh at those who are so bosses, screaming for the masses not to be heard. My notepad verbal bulletproof. A person can handle the truth, but the masses will take drastic actions. Try to assassinate my person with verbal shells. I dodge well and I aim. Mm, excuse me. I dodge good and I aim well. LOL. <laughs> they come to battle with regurgitated substance. Not their own thinking, something different. I struggle to listen, I can't hear it. Boxed in between enigma and devotion. Commit to not understanding what a poetic artist is. Thank you all. Come on, B. I wrote this while I was locked up. So I mean, locked up, you know, doing things, right? So I said, Dear Moon, I paused the stair, but my light still resumes. You gotta be special in this white, so bright, I assume. Sticking out among stars in the night, I'm in tune. I feel your vibe because you provide light for the moon. The city lit with skyscrapers, but it's nice to see you. You only go once in a while like you don't eat enough food. But you receive so much attention, you're ignored by a few. I'm amazed at the rare sight when you appear so blue. But dear moon, I'm gonna pull you out of group because the weed don't got me high to the space that you consume. I'd rather be up there than on this earth full of fumes because where else we gonna go once this earth meets its doom? Mr. Moon, Mrs. Moon, there's no missing you. You've seen it all, I bet you've seen the two fair. You take my first missing two. A distance truth, but you really seem close enough. I heard you full of cheese behind the cow jumps over his nuts. Personification views you as somebody you always up. A keeper at the night, doing your job, and that's no matter what. Because they see you out in Boston and they see you in Los Angeles. People wish upon stars and sing to you like an evangelist. They even help embrace to see you preach you in the fastest strip. Our country did, but we all share you on everlasting shifts. But dear moon, this is why I'm so passionate. When all seems dark, you stick out until the last of it. Bulls howl at you while others like the capture picks. Me, I take a cold 45 by the cap, sit back and sit. Alright, um, my poem is the title, my poem is the title Worst Enemy. I actually uh, wrote this a month ago. I'll sing about the men, the many men in, um, in prisons. And why they shouldn't be there. So I just just for the suffering life. Sometimes one can act as their own worst enemy, thinking in pure thoughts, uncontrolled by the subconscious, influenced by the conscious, harming others for the sake of self-satisfaction, revenge, jealousy, greed, not thinking about the consequences that follow, 
that one day they may be captured, but most of the hollows, until after they are caught up in a deplorable rapture, hard faces twisted to tears with many fears that are going away for years, left unspoken, and families are still heartbroken, multiple restrictions, after convictions, nothing to do but find the Lord while constrained in four walls, behind bars, maintain years of mental scars in prison because they were the only force enemy. Thank you. Jump on in short skirt, breast out, ready to mingle. Constant eye on my status. Casey went from a relationship to being single. Oh, oh. No. So like that and unlike it, so you can like it again. Because no matter how much you think, you don't comprehend the fact that this relationship will not see a dead end. This is the last reason my life will ever attend. And you don't even need to hear it from me because he will tell you the same damn thing. Oh, Your lips can talk all they want, but without further ado, I will tell you that those lips will never kiss the lips that love my bliss, and you can smear your lips stick on somebody else's. Oh. What goes around comes back around, and every time you're around, something's coming back to me. Five years in the making, I'll be damned if this was something of your taking. But he is not up for grabs, so put those sad hands down. He is not up for sale, and he is not something you can steal. He's not looking for your type, he's already found real. And all you got on me is, is he really with that white Who got beat by body niggas catalogs with never get far while stare from photocopies? You so mad it's obvious, quit lip service, your style's free, so go on and tell you lady, I charge a dollar a copy kiss. Damn it's clean, don't ask what the brand is, this man is repping me, stepping on the scene, eat a fair skin to MC, checking on his grin, check the scheme, can make a fiend no matter who a man is. You're hey, up here. The world looks like an atlas, a miniature version of itself made of plastic, so blow spin around, I've been around, came back like a bad check. Got a bounce again, bars called and all net. It's worth more than the show's couple charts, and fans keep buying tickets, repeat offenders, love bars, and rappers like those. No signal, won't stop until I get green and move for it. Well, Ed Norton, bitch, and that's big cash, never risk it all for a smile and a thick ass. I see a big picture and you all tag. I keep emotions in check when I hold smash, even under pressure, pressure, and air, so you couldn't block my shine with a pair of sauce. 
Damn it, I'm stuck tanning, y'all. I'm heating up weight. I hope you're insured, boy. Cause what I'm spitting, sending niggas to the burn wood. So get the God's God and the law. I'm a song, I'm a song, I'm a lyric, I'm a bar. I'm a star in a box, trap lightning in a jar. When I rap on an app, the track, I spit raw.
but I found beer and cigarettes at a young age. But you see, that's a whole other piece for a whole other time. I'm just a little vertically challenged, but good things come in small package. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just because we are Asian does not mean we all have small pieces. My eight inch is patiently waiting out home in my second drawer as we speak. <laughs> is not souped up with a body kit, a system, or a high Asian girl from that movie. <laughs> and no, we don't all have dragon tattoos. I don't even know why you're getting Chinese symbols if you can't even read it. I mean, what if you get tricked by the tattoo artist? Not all of our eyes are slanted, and even if they were, we can still see clearly, clearly that as humans, we are still subjects of prejudice because discrimination has no favoritism. Our coming out stories are probably similar to yours. So the next time you're eating noodles at our restaurants, buying engagement rings at our jewelry shops, washing clothes at our laundromats, getting a manicure at our nail salons, praying inside of our temples, shopping for soy milk at our supermarkets, and sipping on a drink at our convenience stores, just remember that the person who served you may be Asian, but never less of a human than you are. Thank you. Yeah. Love has no gender. Love is a mender. It's colorblind and caring. It's touch is soft and tender. Same sex or interracial. It's beautiful to see. When love works with magic, it's intimacy. So many people can't see. They're blinded by the sounds. By the voices in their head, they keep making rounds. People's hearts begin to pound. Their mouths begin to bleed. The dots from their head where the world implanted its seed. Brainwashing confused, people can't see the light. So they keep their minds closed and take away others' rights. If you can't be happy and enjoy your life, why put other people through all this pain and strife? It's a knife in the back of liberty, and all you're doing is twisting it, making the leaders of this world excited to see that y'all don't give a shit. Hate crimes piling up, no one can keep track. It's like an addiction to them, like a fiend's daily crack. Slowly this world is coming together, but yet di drifting apart. One side is dumb, and the other side is smart. Time will only tell where this world will end up. Though the world seems easy to some, to most it is tough. The idols from the past work so hard to make things gleam. Maybe someday we can work together to accomplish their dreams. To accomplish their goals, cause the Lord only knows that this poem meant enough to change the minds of your souls. So let the haters hate and the thinkers think. Cause my dreams start right here with this pen and this ink. And from this pen and this ink come dreams and aspirations that hopefully one day we can be an equal nation. And it told me to run for the hills as far and as fast as I can just to get away from you and not regret the days that we first met. You were sweet, and I was broken, but I still gave you a token, a token of my love, that is. And you took it so quickly that it made me feel sickly, and oh so quickly, you hit me. As I sat here and cried because I can't believe that you're this guy and that you fed me that one little lie and tried to hide the real man in a disguise. And as I sit here, bleeding from my head at the end of our bed, I start to realize that this bed is the place. The first place, the place that we first made love. And the first place I got down on my knees and thanked the heavens above that we met. And then, it just gets me upset because this is also the place that I saw and met the real you. The first place that you put your hands around my neck and then let go and went to the deck to smoke a cigarette to, to forget, excuse me, to forget the pain that you have caused me. 
This is the first place where you ruined my face and cracked my skull and left me on the ground and kicked me while I was down. Bleeding out of my head and oh, I wish I was dead. So I don't have to dread that oh so subtle lie that slipped between the cracks and almost broke my back. And oh, I wish I had those days back. So I could sit and enjoy myself. I lost my place, guys, sorry. Oh, so I can sit and enjoy me, the beautiful woman that I came out to be. But when your dark clouds came rushing in and raining on my parade, you took all the good things that I had to say about myself. Wasted all this time thinking that you were mine and that defining line in my life because you called me your wife. And that defining line I thought you were was actually the line of coke that you forced me to snort and then I began to choke and ruin my so-called life. Choke on the love I thought you had for me. And all this just is so sad to me that this definitely had to be a very bad dream. This cannot be me. And if you're not me, where the fuck is she? If I could fire my life and ask my assistant to send in a new one, I would. Because it's just that bad. It makes me feel like I'm going insane because I sat back and I allowed you to inflict all this pain. Physically, emotionally, and mentally ten times over. Man, I gotta be crazy just to act as if I'm gonna brush this off my shoulder, but actually it's a boulder that's crushing me from the inside out. And I'm the only one who knows it, uh, who knows all of, about all the fatal blows that you took upon my life, slapped me in the face and then threatened me with a knife, but joke's on me because this is the person that you've always been. I should have seen, I should see the signs because look at your kin, they're either in jail or on their way, but that, that's why my intuition told me not to stay, because deep down inside, I knew that one day your dark passenger would come to light, and I still remember the first day we got into a fight. I told you I was tired, I told you not right now, but you still forced yourself on me and put my face into the ground. I'm humiliated by myself because at this point in my life, I should be rolling it well with money, and family, and friends galore, but yet I stayed with you and I became your little whore. I cooked and I cleaned and I tried to keep you satisfied, but all you did was kiss me on the cheek, Pat me on the head and looked in my eyes and lied. Lied about where you were going. Lied about where. Lied about where. Oh, sorry, sorry. Lied about where you were. Lied about where you were going. Lied to the point that it just got annoying. To see you come and flop those lips that you just kissed somebody else with? Nigga, you must be crazy to think that I don't know that you got a fucking lady waiting for you until you're done. And I see the receipt for that gun, so what you gonna do? Because at the end of the night, it's gonna be me or you. Two of us walked in here, but only one of us is walking out. And if you dance or try to kill me, you know I'm gonna shout to let everybody know that you are the man that did this to me. Oh, sorry. Oh, because I told you I was walking out on you and never looking back, and now that day is today. So if you have anything to say, I advise that you do it now, because like the down and socks, this conversation is going down. I just feel like a clown because I'm yes. I got a little too close. And I begin to see a rise in the attempt of change, and I begin to back away because this is not my scene. I paused, took a breath, and I begin to tell you my story. See, I told you that I wanted the guy to care, and you proceeded. So you got to the kissing of my neck and the licking of my breath, and you begin to take off my shirt, and I was a little hesitant at first. But then I thought, I told you that I wanted the guy to care, and you proceeded. So you take off my shirt and lay your back, and you take off your, and pull on your ego, and I'm pretending I don't know what you want me to do. And the look of your eye told me that you wanted me to satisfy. And I was a little hesitant at first. But then I thought, I told you that I wanted the guy to care, and you proceeded. So the ecstasy in that air is already a mile high, and you wanted to get into the licking of my inner thigh. And I was a little shy, I mean, I never really let anybody see my feet. So I begin to run away, and you begin to say, it's okay. And I was a little hesitant at first. <laughs> When I thought, I told you that I wanted the guy to care, and you proceeded. So you take my hand, 
and lay me on the bed and you spread my legs, but you didn't go directly in. So you kiss me from the tip of my toes to the meeting of my thighs, and I begin to silently moan because you were deaf in the tongue. Then you whispered in my ears, just tell me where to go. And I was a little hesitant at first. Because this is my virginity we're speaking of. But then I thought, I told you that I wanted the guy to care, and you proceeded. <laughs> He must have the words from his heart. My arms represent a line with no specific, specific beginning nor end. In other words, my love for you is boundless. The girl looked puzzled and her voice box was soundless, and as moments passed, she gasped for air and questioned him again. How do I know that you care? The boy stayed out again briefly, but what seemed like days, he held her hand and told her, rested upon my chest. He began breathing rhythmically. Do you feel each of my breaths? She said, yes, but so what? I can breathe too. <laughs> he said, each molecule of oxygen that passes through the mind lungs supplies me with yet another opportunity to do for you. Oh, yeah. Basically, I'm here to cater to anything you need or want. She laughed, almost a taunt him. Boy, I need anything from you. I need to myself. <laughs> He chuckled back, I'm just saying. Question three came, how do I know who I'm playing me? A glint in his eye suggested he was waiting for this chance. He said, do you remember our first official high school dance when we were holding hands to that 90s dance? Tell me it's real. Damn. She finally grinned. You caught me just as I broke my heel. Grinning back, I didn't laugh. Instead, you had graceful moves. That's nice and all, but how does that prove you aren't playing me? He said, well, it doesn't. I just wanted to see you smile. Real nice ocean breeze, the breeze with the smell of leaves. The leaves carrying a disease, a disease, a disease called means. The disease getting hurt while it feeds. It feeds on me and I have no means. I feel it feeding on me, but now I have caught the disease. The disease has a tight grip on me as I fly wire a few leaves. It hurts, but that... <coughs> I am okay thanks to the breeze. The breeze reminds me that I live in the sea, far away from a lady. A lady that is carrying my baby. Her baby is going to look just like my fair lady. My lady loves me when I call her my baby. She is my baby that I know I do love her. I am so far away from my baby. My baby is my fair lady. My lady that is carrying my baby. I miss my lady. I need my lady. This is why I carry my needs disease. So far alone at seas. Alone at seas in the Navy, 
You have all the time in the world to talk on the phone. Homework ceases to exist in your voice when your voice is on the other end and my future is diminished to the next three hours I plan on talking with you and it's fucking perfect. And I felt like I was in an endless game of Candyland. Then I lost. When it was all, I'm sorry, eight. When it was all new and shiny, you do not realize that that's exactly what it is, a fucking game. Unless you roll a certain number that gets you a specific color that lands you on a perfect spot, everything is messed up. And at first, all of the aisles seemed to lead me to you and we had all the right answers at the right time. Then comes time and you realize that landing on the right color just isn't enough. You want him to land specifically on the 45 degrees angle, that is the geometry of your life. It has to be on the right color, not purple or blue, but mauve, cobalt, and periwinkle too. And the second he gets there, he should be planning his next move, right? Now, don't get me wrong, I was never the type to believe in fairy tales and love at first sight. I never wanted a white picket fence, two dogs, two point five babies, but I've earned mine. And I'm tired of putting in overtime for you. I'm tired of... Six. Sorry. I'm tired of providing every option, every line, every manual pants the brochure that explains the work to me. I'm tired of planning and waiting and asking and writing and searching for you to be what I need. I'm tired of calling and yelling and texting and wishing and hoping for you for once to sweep me off my feet. And it's not like I'm asking for a horse and buggy, a ring, or that last piece of chicken in your box of KFC, but I'm asking for you to see that I need a man and I can no longer accept the hit or misses of a little boy and by now. I know you get the hints that it's you. You're probably thinking if anyone saw you coming with me, you're wondering if I just stole your masculinity trying to figure out what happens now. Four. To tell you the truth, we were probably never meant to be. It was probably not supposed to be happening now. And I'm sorry, love. If I try to rewind time, I think and wonder if it was me. Maybe I forgave you too often, too much. Maybe I open. Maybe I forgave you too often and too much. Maybe I was too open and not a lady. But as we all know, ladies never pay Dutch, and ladies never call first, and ladies are a mystery, but maybe I just wanted you. And maybe I saw something worthy in you, so I let my hair down, and I told you all my secrets, my hopes, my aspirations, and my dreams. I, I told you about the time when I was eight, and I flashed that boy who was 15, and I never told that to anyone else, well, until now. And can you not see? I gave you everything, and all you gave me in return was doubts and a lack of sanity, but maybe that's just hyperbole. But there are times when I feel so low and high, trapped in limbo, and I'm, I'm unable to define, but maybe it's time for us to both get out of this labyrinth of what we could be, too. But somehow, I can't. And honestly, I'm not ready, and I hate myself for it. I was never one of those weak girls, but in a matter of months, that's what I am. And I find myself being the only one holding on to the fragments of what could have been, but every time I think of leaving, I get that ebbing feeling tenfold, and every time I question, I'm caught in a web of maybes, but it's time to stop pretending. Maybe it's time to stop pushing for something that we could have never been. Zero. You're probably silent. <clears throat> Giving her an odd look, wondering if she knew the poem is over, and honestly, I'm equally confused. Because even with it all, nothing can replace you. You are my prince, my love, my hurry up and get up before my mom gets home. You are my secret holder, my best friend, my enemy, and my nerd. You are the first person to ever make me feel as beautiful as I believe myself to be. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. So no. Though the countdown has ended, the thing that we are has not. And though we may not live happily ever after, we will live majestically complicated for now. <laughs> I always think a lot about like you know heaven and God and what and what happens like afterwards. Because wouldn't it suck if you get up there and it's like six flags, just really you know come on. You know it, it, I always picture that if you if you die and go to heaven, God will pretty much look and seem like whatever you think He is. Like if you think it's Ned Flanders, if you think God is Homer Simpson, and you get up there, that's pretty much where I think you're gonna get. But for me, I always thought, what if you get up there? And it's like, you see St. Peter, right? And there's like, just this big ass hallway and nothing but doors, right? And he looks at you and he's like, all right, man, each one of these doors is a certain heaven. Now, this is a Jewish heaven. This is Muslim heaven. This is, there's, there's, uh, there's hell, this is, it's Buddha heaven. Yeah. This is Spanish heaven, which is like, you know, Door. 
<laughs> quiet as shit. This has happened. I gotta be quiet. I gotta restrain myself. Shh. Quiet. Look at him. He's like, so why, why do I have to be quiet at this door? He looks at him like real side. He goes, the Catholics think they're the only ones in there. Robbed twice, jumped brutally, came out a dozen, interrogated a dozen more, and faced 
death once. And that's way too many times in this day and by the way, my life is a scripture like in the Bible's page and I always keep turning and turning and turning until I arrive at a new chapter. Excited for it? How I wouldn't be if I could be. But that's a slim chance if we know what goes on in these streets, even in innocent fucking children. It's like, damn, what the hell can happen next? If violence is included, I will be vexed. It doesn't matter if it's done unto me, him, or her even. Yes, I said her because young women may not know this fact, but y'all are psychopathic as fuck. I'm gonna ask for what. <laughs> Good stars are never extracted from the hood. That's why they call hood stars. Surrounded by bars and by the jail or rap shut and they big one day. Our potential dreams could potentially be shattered by our I am their reality. I'm proud of who I am and where I'm from, but if there were any level of opportunity to go to the suburbs, I'd pull it. Because you can fuck rape us up, but you can't dodge bullets. Thank you, you're right, man.